to use um, the, the slang word is a skin scrubber, and that's why they have it labeled. It's actually microcurrents, microcurrents that help to purge the skin, clean the skin, um, help eliminate small blackheads. It's a wonderful tool that we use in the salon every day now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in to some power. We have our wristband, which is our negative power. Whenever you see red on a facial tool, it means that it is the, um, I'm sorry, the positive. It's the positive power. So I'm going to plug that into that. Okay. And then the tool that we use, it looks somewhat like a paddle. Okay. And it gets plugged into where it says skin scrubber. So you want to line up your pins and plug it in completely. Turn on your power. And then looking at the skin scrubber setting, we're going to press skin scrubber. There we go. Okay. And we have different energies. If you're doing the client for the first time, it's always best to start out with like a two. If you've done them before, if the skin's thicker, usually if the skin's darker, it's a little bit thicker. The more fair the skin, it's usually a little bit thinner. So um, if it's a little bit darker and you think it's pretty sure it's thick skin, you can go ahead and set it up to a three, but it's just best to start on a two. And then we also have to make sure that it's on skin scrubber. Right now, I've got it on the... Um, uh, both, or I could use it either way, and that's a good way to do it at first, too, if you're going to do any eye treatment around there. So I'm going to set it on 75% power, All right, and our power is on here. Now, this is not going to work unless we have a conductor, okay? Our conductor is our gel. So we have our softening gel that we will apply to the skin. We want that same product to be on the wrist so that we can have a complete current from our negative to our positive. So the positive is going to be on her wrist and the negative is going to be in my hand. Right, so we want to take two cotton rounds, dampened with water, and run out. The softening gel, which I'm going to apply to her face, goes onto the pad. So you can see, generous amount. This is her wristband that completes the current. This metal piece needs to go right here on her wrist. So I'm going to unplug that for right now. And if I can have your wrist. So I put the cotton round on her wrist. The metal part goes on top of the cotton round. And then we're just going to secure that. When it was new, we didn't have to do this, but the elastic's broken. <laughs> okay, so now I've got this ready to plug in. I'm going to take about 15 pumps of our softening gel. You can use any type of gel that's used to use uh, in any facial for disincrustation. 
we're going to be doing the decollete area and the face. We want to start in the decollete. This also helps with um, hyperpigmentation, sometimes a wrinkly skin from too much sun exposure. And see, we want it fairly thick. The skin will look a tiny bit lighter when we're finished. Okay, can you see how her cheeks are slightly red? I probably would stay away from doing it too much in that area. So we'll probably turn our power down a little bit when we get to that area. Just want a thick layer of gel on here. This is one of the most sought after treatments right now by uh, teenage clients to help get rid of the blackheads and the breakouts. I want to keep a little bit in my bowl so that in case I need it while I'm as a conductor, I'm just going to lay my brush there so I can get some more if I need to. Okay, I don't know. If I have my back to you, let's move this over here, and that way I won't have my back to you. Okay. Right, so to complete our circuit, we need to have this plugged in. So we have our positive and our negative. Okay. I have to have a little bit of gel on my fingers and a little bit of gel on the paddle. Again, adjust it to your workspace. Very important. There again, we're going to work from the bottom up. And you use about three strokes. And you always start on the left. So to keep it from going into the client's face, put it behind your neck and then the cord is not going to go in their face. One important thing that I forgot here is we want iPads on our client. Because sometimes when we're using the paddle, you can get the gel will spray up into the client's eyes. Starting on the left, have those wet with the gel. Three strokes. One, two, three. Then you're going to overlap slightly. See that we've just the debris that's coming out of the skin that's purging the skin. getting ready to do where her blackheads are, so I would like to use my magnifying lamp.
when you have a breakout and you want the area, you can come from it from each side. And then with a day or two, that will help um, that breakout to heal up. for her cheeks. Okay, you don't want it, the paddle to be like this, you want it flat. Always make sure that there is gel on the skin and on the paddle. side and then we're going to do her nose area. When you do this service, you do this during a facial instead of your exfoliating mask. Okay, as you can, if you can see through the mag lamp, we have some tiny blackheads. So I'm going to increase my energy to three. Increase my power to three for the area that has a few more blackheads, making sure that the gel is on the paddle and on the skin. Take a break for a second and let you look at um, one side of the nose compared to the other. So you can see what the difference is in the skin, what the skin scrubber does. Especially like around the nose, like in this little crevice area. It's hard to do extractions there.
Okay, this is still part of, this would be part of your cleansing process during the facial. Be used instead of the exfoliating mask. One area you want to be really careful of is right here, the skin. The closer you get to the eye, the skinner, the thinner the skin is. So always make sure that you have plenty of gel in that area so that you don't burn your client. And turn it down to a lower power. Okay, we've just finished doing the skin scrubbing. Part of the cleansing, so what we will do now is we'll cleanse all that This can be done as a standalone treatment, just do your cleansing and then do your softening gel and then do your skin scrubber. Remove your softening gel and apply a light moisture equalizer. You just want to bring that pH back to normal. If you want to take a look at that skin, that skin is really nice and clean now. A lot brighter. Clients get excited about this because they're like, they got rid of all my buckets. <laughs> got that pH back to normal with our equalizer, and then we're going to apply our oil free moisturizer. Our skin scrubber treatment. When you're finished with your skin scrubbing treatment and your client has left, that's when you want to take care of your machine. So we're going to unplug everything. Spray alcohol just to the side of that blue stuff. Okay, you're working about electricity, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to unplug it from electricity. Water and electricity are not usually good friends. To clean our positive, I'm going to spray cleansing alcohol onto a cleaning pad and wipe that down. Get a clean cleaning pad or an aesthetic wipe. There again, we don't want to spray right onto our tools. We want to always use 
spray it onto the cleaning pad and then clean our tools. it completely and put your cap back on. Always remember to pull straight out instead of to the side. We don't want to bend our pins. 